Hey everyone, today we are going to learn a program to show the use of looping construct in c .net. In the previous lecture, we already discussed about the looping statements. But in this program, we are going to learn about the program of Fibonacci series. So first, let's see what is meant by Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series is a series where the third number is addition of its previous two numbers. The first two numbers are already given that is 1 is a 0 and the second one is 1. Now we have to add the first two numbers. 0 plus 1 is a 1. Now again we have to add the last two numbers that is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Again add the next two numbers that is 1 plus 2 means 3. Again we have to add the last and second last number that is 2 plus 3 equal to 5 again 5 plus 3 that is 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 8 21 21 plus 13 34 34 plus 21 55 55 plus 34 that is a 89 okay so this is called as a Fibonacci series remember once again Fibonacci series is a series where the third number is addition of its previous two numbers here 0 plus 1 equal to 1, again 1 plus 1 equal to 2, 2 plus 1 equal to 3, 3 plus 2 that is a 5, 5 plus 3 8, 8 plus 5 13, 13 plus 8 21, 21 plus 13 34, 34 plus 21 55, 55 plus 34 89 up to n number of terms. Here I already opened the Visual Studio console application. So first declare the variables that is integer a and b. Here the value of a is 0, the first number and the value of b is 1, the second number. Now we have to add both the numbers so we require variable c. Then we have to write the output up to n number of terms. So here we declare the variable n and for looping we declare the variable as i. Now we have to input the number of terms that is a value of n so write down console dot write line in bracket enter the number of terms now read the value of n that is n equal to convert dot to integer 32 in bracket console dot read line okay so here we read the value of n that is number of terms now the value of a and b are constant. So here value of a is equal to 0 and value of b is equal to 1. So we have to first print the value of a and b. So write down again console dot write line a. We have to print the value of a and then console dot write line the value of b. Okay, write down console dot read line. Okay, so here the first two values are already given that is 0 and 1. Now we have to find out the third value that is value of C. So here we have to use the looping statement because we have to add the numbers up to n number of terms. So use for loop for i equal to 1 i less than equal to n means up to n number of terms and then i plus plus ok now we have to add a and b and store it into variable c so here write down the logic as c equal to a plus b here we get our third value that is a c now when we get the third number then we again add the last number with the second last number means here we have to swap the two numbers that is a equal to b and b equal to c okay so c is the last number and b is the second last number so here we assign the value of b to variable a and assign the value of c to variable b okay now print the value of c that is console dot write line in bracket c here we print the value of c and then close the for loop 
and then at the last console dot red like so this is a very simple program now let's check whether it is properly working or not okay enter the number of terms here i enter number 5 okay as you can see 0 and 1 are already given 0 plus 1 equal to 1 1 plus 1 take the last two digits last two numbers 1 plus 1 equal to 2 2 plus 1 equal to 3 3 plus 2 equal to 5 and 5 plus 3 equal to 8 so if we skip the first two digits first two numbers that is 0 and 1 then the last numbers are 5 means the total number of terms that is a 5 again run the program let's enter 15 as a number of terms and press enter okay so this is the output of our program